Hi, this is Marcus Giuliano from HealthyChefDude.com. And uh, today I wanted to bring you some current events as I'm reading the dining section of the New York Times. Um, it's Wednesday, February 3rd. And there's a thing about eggs in here with um, bars. Bars like to use egg whites or eggs in some of their drinks. And of course, to some of us this may not sound right, but uh, there's a... Um, they use raw eggs for texture and for, you know, to make the drinks um, have a certain appearance. The frothiness and things like that. So, the New York City Health Department is sort of cracking down on, um, and the, the way this article reads is it starts off by saying that a bar was busted in New York City for serving raw eggs in a martini. Well, as you go to read the article and further, some bar tenders, bar owners, club owners are a little outraged because they think that the health department is cracking down on them. Well, here's what's happening. It's not, a, you're not allowed to serve raw eggs, but you have to let the customer be aware of what they're actually consuming. I know for me, I don't consume eggs, so I wouldn't want to go to a, a bar and think I'm ordering a some fancy martini and all of a sudden be subjected to raw egg whites. My martini, I would be very, very offended. So the health department is specifically saying is that they, they have to let the consumer know that they're putting raw eggs in their dish, or in their drink in this case. Now, I have a problem with eggs to begin with because eggs to me are, you know, a food that I just don't consume. I stay away from them for several reasons. But let's talk about the eggs that they're probably serving at this bar first. They're probably serving an egg that comes from concentration camp eggs and aren't free-range, nest-free, hormone-free, antibiotic-free, that whole thing. So besides the salmonella in the egg, which is the, the, what they're stating in the article, is the risk of contamination, there's all these other things to actually uh, consider while you're eating this raw egg or drinking this raw egg that just isn't safe and sound or practical to begin with because of the cross-contamination and the way the chickens are being raised and the eggs the way they're laid. So it's just, that's a whole issue to begin with. The second issue is my personal problem with eggs is eggs are one of the dirtiest foods to begin with. And I know you're going to read studies that say, well, eggs have this in it, the eggs have something else in it, eggs have omega-3s, eggs have this. But when you look at it, if you look at like Dr. Robert Young's research, he says that an egg is the dirtiest food because it has 37 million microbes, whether it's organic, free range or not. So personally, I don't touch eggs. I haven't touched eggs in years. I'm not a vegan. Um, I'm a vegetarian. I do eat certain fish. If you know, if you've seen my blogs before, you kind of understand where I'm coming from on my diet aspect. Um, I do like to have wine and good beer. So for me, this would be a huge problem going into a restaurant, and I would feel that I'd be violated from actually getting an egg in my drink that they were sneaking something in. So my advice is, if you're going to a bar that's serving old-fashioned, old-time drinks or a trendy bar, nightclub, just specifically ask the bartender. I know sometimes it's hard to, um, with the noise and going on, just have a little card with you or something you can hand to them and say, I don't can't do eggs or whatever if you're concerned about this. Um, so it's really not as complicated as the article states in the New York Times, it's just that consumers need the right to know and that's the big thing the health department is stating. Consumers just need the right to know about if they're getting eggs, raw eggs or not. Um, a lot of people love raw eggs. When I did eat eggs I would consume, I would like raw eggs, um, but my dietary shifts have changed. So this is um, some current news. I'm actually at the airport in Nashville right now flying back to New York from a great um, restaurant marketing conference that I was at. So uh, I'm going to continue reading the New York Times here, the dining section. And um, until next time, you can follow me on HealthyChefDude.com and um, or follow me on Twitter, HealthyChefDude.